The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Here you go, YouTube. You're going to like these if you sit here and read them. Um, along with these here bird sounds and laughter. Maybe y'all can get past it, I don't know. Maybe you'll get the hint with a little bit of bird sound and a little bit of laughter in there. But you know, y'all ain't going to believe nothing. has to be wrote down for you and, and given to you. And you still don't believe it. Oh, they won't do it. But maybe when you get through watching the rest of this video, maybe you might start smelling a little bit of them there roses and get your finger at your ass. I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see on that. Uh, you ain't done nothing yet. You got the NDAA bill. You got this bill. Uh, you know, you lost your First Amendment. I, I mean, what else is there for y'all? I mean, you're just slaves. That's what this means. You put them all together and you are nothing but a slave. To who? <laughs> oh, y'all know who. But that's okay. Y'all can have your day. One day, I don't know. Maybe you'll get a little bit of laughter out of the rest of this. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, people. What's up to y'all? It's all in y'all's hands. Now, executive orders associated with FEMA that would suspend the Constitution and Bill of Rights. These executive orders have been on record for nearly 30 years and could be enacted by the stroke of a presidential pen. Executive Order 10990 allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. Executive Order 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communication media. Executive Order 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. Executive Order 10998 allows the government to seize all means of transportation, including personal cars, trucks, and total control over all highways, seaports, and waterways. Executive Order 10999 allows the government to take over all food resources and farms. Executive Order 11000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Think about that one. Executive Order 11001 allows the government to take over all health, education, and welfare functions. Executive Order 11002 designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. Executive Order 11003 allows the government to take over all airports and aircraft, including commercial aircraft. Now look at this one. Executive Order 11004 allows the Housing and Financial Authority to relocate communities, build new housing with public funds, designate areas to be abandoned, and locations for populations. Mm. Executive Order 11005 allows the government to take over railroads, inland waterways and public storage facilities. Executive Order 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions and economic or financial crisis. Are you paying attention to that one? Executive Order 11310 grants authority to the Department of Justice to enforce the plans set out in executive orders, to institute industrial support, to establish judicial and legislative liaison, to control all aliens, to operate penal and correctional institutions, and to advise and assist the President. 
Executive Order 11049 assigns emergency preparedness function to federal departments and agencies consolidating 21 operative executive orders issued over a 15-year period. Executive Order 11921 allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency, FEMA, to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in the U.S. financial institution in any undefined national emergency. It also provides that when a state emergency is declared by the President, Congress cannot review the action for six months. FEMA has broad powers in every aspect of the nation. General Frank Salzedo, Chief of FEMA's Civil Security Division, stated that in a 1983 conference that he saw FEMA's role as a new frontier in the protection of individual and governmental leaders from assassination and of civil and military installations from sabotage and or attack as well as prevention of dissidents groups <clears throat> from gaining access to U.S. opinion or global audience in times of crisis. FEMA's powers were consolidated by President Carter to incorporate the following. The National Security Act of 1947, which allows for the strategic relocation of industries, services, government, and other essential economic activities, and to rationalize the requirements for manpower, resources, and production facilities. The 1950 Defense Population Act gives the President sweeping powers over all aspects of the economy. The Act of August 29, 1916 authorizes the Secretary of the Army in time of war to take possession of any transportation system for transporting troops, material, or any purpose related to the emergency. The International Emergency Economic Powers Act enables the President to seize the property of a foreign country or national. These powers were transferred to FEMA in a sweeping consolidation in 1979. I don't, have, I don't care. Bring the commander out. Okay. Get across the street. Affairs. Across the street. Call news affairs. I don't care about news affairs. F news affairs. Well, Let's go across the street. Get the surgeon from news affairs. News. I don't care about news affairs. Get news affairs. Okay. I'm going to tell you all now you got to go across the street. I'm giving you a law for order to get across the street. That, and that's all I'm going to say. Your First Amendment right can be terminated if you create if you create the create the scene or, or whatever. Your first amendment right got limitation. If you are creating the scene. How are we creating the scene? We haven't created a scene. Your president created the scene. Our presence is created uh, what we do for a living. Yep, they making a living, dude. I don't I don't know what your problem is, but you don't know nothing about the Constitution. You don't know nothing about the Bill of Rights. You don't know nothing. Uh except how to break laws. What you're doing there, dude, is breaking law. You're breaking the law. Nobody else is. You are. They have a right to free speech, and they also have the right, since they're news reporters, to report the news. And you're stopping that. Don't you feel ashamed that you up, did not uphold your constitutional rights and theirs? That's what you're there for, dude, is to uphold and defend their constitutional rights as much as your own. But you didn't do that. What did you do? You followed, what did you follow? All these new laws that they're passing. And who, you got a job to do, too. And that's to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. And did you do that? No, look at you. You're dragging the man to... to the paddy wagon. Oh man, I gotta get him in the paddy wagon. I gotta make a dollar today. I gotta make a dollar. Oh, I gotta make my dollar. See, that's that just ain't that ain't right, dude. Look at all of you. Luckily, luckily you 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 didn't your other guys come in there to help you, not destroy his camera. So you would have a serious lawsuit on your hand. You know, this is this is absolutely, unmistakably wrong, and you know it. People on YouTube, if you don't wake up, this is going to happen everywhere in this country every day. Much love to y'all. Heads up. And I mean heads up. Y'all keep sitting around with your finger up your ass, okay?